The Twigs had been completely shocked when they found out that Arlena was not their child, but they were not going to burden Arlena with that. Arlena was getting ready for surgery, so we couldn't tell her. We felt like, well, we would relate everything once the surgery was over and she was doing well and we would work through it. The night before she went in for her surgery, I was optimistic, but I was also scared a little bit. But I didn't want that to show through. She and I, we slept on the pull-out couch and talked and talked and talked and talked for hours. Arlena was very afraid of the surgery. She told me that she was afraid to die. And I said, you'll be fine. You will come out of this beautiful, healthy, be able to run and skip and jump and do everything that all the other children do. She got excited for that. The next morning, she went to the hospital they took her into surgery, and Regina visited her right after. When she came out of surgery, she was so beautiful. She was pink and looked healthy and normal. And I walked in the room, and I was like, oh my gosh, look at you. You look so good. She just beamed. You could see it in her eyes and her smile that she was like, I did this. I'm OK. I stood there and watched her start to struggle. And I got a nurse and, and asked them to please help her. Nobody knew what was going on. She couldn't speak because she was intubated. And Arlena just looked over at me, like, help me. What do I do? And I, I felt so helpless. The twigs were sent out of the room so they could work on Arlena, but then she went into a coma and they called them back. I remember watching the monitor and the heart rate just dropped and dropped and dropped until she was gone. I felt like I had died with her. The surgery itself was a success, but because um, her kidneys failed, she just didn't make it. And I laid my head on her chest and told her I was sorry that I couldn't help her. I stayed at my best friend's house. I remember my mom showed up, and she just told me that she passed away. I couldn't believe it. She wasn't supposed to die. Everybody said she would be OK. As she went down that hallway, I wanted to say, no, stop, stop. You know, I was so afraid we would lose her. But I couldn't because it had to be done. Because if she didn't have the surgery done, she would die anyway. My older brother and I were out at uh, Uncle Sam and Aunt Marge's and I was watching the TV program or something and it came over me that she was gone. She was my best friend. She was my sidekick. I was the one pulling her around in a little red wagon in the front yard after church on Sundays. We always did everything together. I visited her grave a lot. I put flowers. And I would buy the huge wreaths. And I went above and beyond because I, I wanted her to know that I was still there and that I loved her and missed her and that she was worth that big display of gorgeous flowers. She died on August 23rd, 13 years to the day from the day her baby sister died. They both died August 23rd, 13 years apart. My mom was very grief-stricken. There was a void in her. 
Regina had been so passionate for so many years trying to save Arlena. And now all of that emotion, she was turning it to determination to find her missing child. I thought, where is baby Twig? What happened to her, where she was, was she happy? We had to find the baby. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.